Um, well, this is a dud channel. We usually don't even have that many people watching us, to be honest with you. Uh, so, you know, but now we really don't have anybody watching us. Uh, but it's all right. Tomorrow, I will upload the pod broadcast like I usually do. And, uh, and, and the channel's still there, but... You know, for those of you who don't know, I'll let you all know. Uh, fucking last Sunday, we were watching AEW uh, Revolution, the pay-per-view. And I was uh, broadcasting it and showing it. And then slowly, we got a lot of views, man. That's the most we've ever had on any live. But of course, if we were doing a broad broadcast with our show, we were uh, fucking off. And uh, we had like 40 people watching. Which was awesome. And uh, we were getting away with it. And then uh, people were asking to make it bigger. And, and you know. And slowly I started to. And uh, and and then we got we got caught. I tried to start the stream again. And we got caught again. And unfortunately that did give me. A copyright strike. So the channel. <laughs> As the first copyright strike and uh it expires in fucking three months uh suck ass so i can't live stream from the main channel which is why we're live streaming on this channel and no one's watching us now uh no one even watched us before but no one no one's really watching us now because no one knows about this dud channel so for the next three months, I'll be broadcasting live from this dud channel. But the main channel is still the other one, and the videos and everything will be posted again, like it always does, Saturday. It'll be posted, edited, Sunday, uh, the review videos, and then the, the short videos during the week, and shit. Uh, it's not much I can do. Uh, Gomer Kyle reached out to me uh, earlier and was talking about that. Uh, fucked all these people that were complaining and they're the reason we got shut down because I started making it bigger and, and started, you know, so that they could see better. And uh, he does kind of have a point. I should have just left it small the way I originally had it. And uh, we probably would have been able to... We were already... I think there was only two matches left. Two or three matches left. And it was going to be over anyways. So we watched... A lot of it a lot of it um, so I don't know Gomer I, I gave Gomer and I told him maybe uh, what I might do I don't I don't know yet I might make another dud channel a, a new completely new dud channel and um, we might be doing trying to uh, do that stream again and we can watch Wrestlemania uh, Tyson versus Logan Paul or whatever. <laughs> we'll try it again. I don't care if I get banned from another uh, fucking channel, but we watched the whole thing. We got away with it until the final two matches, and it was my fault because I, like I said, I wanted everybody to see what I was seeing, man. I said everybody. I was giving people the links. People said the link wasn't working. Uh, but I, you know me, I just want everybody to to enjoy themselves, and I just wanted... You know, that's what ended up causing us to get banned is that I started fucking letting people, uh, listening to people, and I made the thing bigger. And we got banned. We got copyright strike. So, uh, I don't know. I'm deciding. WrestleMania is still like a month away. Uh, we'll see what I end up doing there. Uh, but for sure, uh, we're not, it's going to be a while before we get to live stream from the, from the original channel, just to let you all know. Uh, I'm getting no notifications here about bullshit. Let me just fuck that. Anyways, uh, cheers to y'all. Happy Friday. We'll see how it goes. Uh, if we're going to keep doing the streaming or not and shit. Mm. All right. Well, let's get started with the motherfucking comments. How we always do start off the show. We, we read comments. Uh, whatever you send me on the Instagram, uh, at, at the Underground Broadcast or Twitter, TikTok, or at Son of Man Six Six Five on tw on Twitter, I will post it here. Uh, just like Super Saiyan Joku, who sent me today on IG, he says, uh, "How high can I get taking all this at once? We'll see." 
at the Underground Broadcast, where I can enjoy some nerd news. Speaking of nerd news, rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Cheers, Mother's Flowers. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag Dragon Ball Z. Hashtag TH. Hashtag THC. Hashtag 400 milligrams. Hashtag Hot Cocoa Bomb. Hashtag Mary Jane. Hashtag Marijuana. Hashtag Edibles. And hashtag Smoke Weed Every Day. Aw, oh, yeah. Um, he's got some 400 milligram THC gummies. Now, is that 400 milligrams per gummy or 400 milligrams because there's four of them in there with each one being 100 milligrams? That's my question. And then he's got some hot cocoa bombs. Uh, I guess it's like a chocolate. I saw I saw it and it's 100 milligrams. Uh, and then he's chilling with his friend drinking what looks like margaritas at some kind of Mexican restaurant or a Korean restaurant. I don't know. It could be either or. Uh, cheers, Joku. Let me know if those gummies are 400 milligrams per gummy or a combination of all of them. Oh, the whole bag is 400 milligrams. Yeah, that makes more sense. Imagine one gummy, 400 milligrams. Holy shit, that'll fuck you up. You'll be comatose and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to get one of my, one of my little fucking things here. Uh. Cheers, Super Saiyan Joku. You're the shit. Thank you for sending me that. Your friend there looks like a badass. Y'all are drinking margaritas and shit uh, during lunch and then going back to work all drunk, motherfuckers. <laughs> Cheers. Our first comment uh, of the night or of the week was uh, Doug Unfunny. And he put, uh, Cheers, son. Good show. Keep it up. Just uh, on general on the podcast and shit. Cheers, uh, Doug. Thank you for being out there and listening and shit. Uh, appreciate you, motherfucker. Let's see. He also commented on the uh, Avatar. Uh, the last Airbender video that I did review. He said, uh, I saw the series with my boy when I was seven years old. Oh, that's badass. Oh, when he was seven years old. Not when I when he said When he was seven years old. He too, like I, was very excited about this live-action adaptation. Uh, we watched a few episodes this past Sunday together, and so far we're loving it. I don't see why people are complaining about it. It's just like you said, it's better than M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong's adaptation. Cheers to the man. Hashtag. You know, the what I've noticed is the people that are complaining... Is for it's the young generation. It's like it's like the kids that that probably didn't even watch the original series or weren't even like they were in diapers when the original series came out. So you know they didn't really watch it, and they probably didn't even watch M Night Shyamalan's and shit. And so they're the ones that are complaining because oh they went and saw they barely saw the anime like last month or something, and now they see this and they're all like oh this is not the same and eh. eh. And it's like, my fuck you. You have any idea how long we've been waiting for something this good? A long fucking time. You idiots. Uh, I don't know, man. I just get pissed off. Like, yeah, of course it's not the same. Of course it's not that silly. Uh, of course these actors are not Oscar Academy Award winning actors. They're goddamn kids. It's probably the first acting job they've ever had. It takes experience for them to get better. Calm down. Fucking dicks. Oh, saying this is a good fucking series, man. I don't know why people are bitching. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. But this is like probably the best live action adaptation of Last Airbender we've gotten and we're probably ever gonna get. So I don't know if people need to shut the fuck up and enjoy it. You know? Take your finger out of your ass, put it in your mouth, shut the fuck up, and watch the damn show on TV. Idiots. Cheers. Don't I'm funny. I remember I found Avatar by mistake. Um, I found it when Sozin's Comet was going to come out. When Sozin's Comet was the movie was going to come out on Nickelodeon, they were showing commercials nonstop about Sozin's Comet, Sozin's Comet, Sozin's Comet. And then I, I, 
I don't even, I think I even saw a commercial. It wasn't even on, on Nickelodeon, but I saw a commercial for Solson's Comet, the movie premiering this Saturday from four to five. It's a special. It's crazy. It's shit, two hours special. I don't know what the fuck was going on. So what is this Solson's Comet, this cartoon? I thought it was called Solson's Comet, the cartoon. <laughs> what is this? It's Avatar. Oh, what the fuck is Avatar? So I went on one of those things, you know, because I, I don't pay for ass. Uh, so I went on one of those things online, those websites where you can watch shit for free. And I started from the beginning. Well, let me see this shit because I guess Sosin's Comics, the ending. Well, let me see from the beginning. I binge watched that shit. All of it before Sosin's Comic came out. Uh, yeah. Because I was excited. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, I downloaded all of them. And ever since then, I've always had them. I've always had them downloaded, uh, in my hard drive. Uh, that's how I got into it. But I didn't know what the fuck it was. There was too many cartoons that used to come out. Because I'm an old school Nick kid. You know what I'm saying? Like Doug. Uh, Rugrats. Ah, Real Monsters. Uh, uh, what else? I'm trying to think of what else there was back then. There wasn't too many. There started more coming out. And that's when it started turning into ass. I'll even say that even the Fairly Odd Parents. I, I mean, I wasn't. it wasn't my generation. I was a little older already. But I thought that was funny when it came out. Uh, and shit. But I didn't get into the wild thornberries or some shit and all that other stuff. I didn't, I didn't get into it. So. so this also came out at a time where I was already fucking old. And uh, it was the advertisements that got me. Because I was curious, what the fuck are they talking about? And I got hooked, man. It's good. It's a good fucking, well, well, really well written fucking... Uh, cartoon <laughs> people don't like to call it anime so it's a really well written cartoon cheers doug and i guess really nobody nobody knew about this link and shit it's all right i sent it to gomer and indy we'll see if they show up tonight i sent it to the cunt i sent it to the cunt but you know it's in australia he might have gotten it late or something <laughs> nah anyways Cheers, Doug. Let's see who else gave a comment tonight. Oh, speaking of the devil, the fucking cunt. Let me hit it for this guy. You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slop ready, because the cunt is here. The cunt on the avatar says... The firebrenders are straight CCP red commies from Ch China. How are the firebrenders white? I thought it was badass. Shit's all... He's talking about the, the, the show. I thought it was badass. It shit's all over everything Marvel's been putting out. Sokka might be the straightest pussy getting ma fucking... <laughs> getting ma fucking weave. Gotten in a while, I thought. For sure, they try to woke it up and make Aang autistic, non-binary lesbian. Nah, this fucking guy. Um, yeah, um, you know what? I didn't even think about that. That they are straight up Chinese <laughs> communists. <laughs> Look, the reason why I keep saying they're Caucasian is because in the actual anime, or not the cartoon, I keep saying anime, I keep saying anime. There's a distinct, uh, like when they, because you know, there's there's different races, you know, like I don't know, it's it's hard to tell. And when, when people draw anime, the races and shit, uh, of which ones are Asians and which ones are not, because they all kind of have these fucking eyes, you know. But I just figured because of the skin tone and complexion, and not only that, but you know, I think the the Fire Lord. And, and 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 Azula, like, like the royal family, more than anything, they looked more American in the way that the people were drawing them than the rest of the Fire Nation, is what I mean. Uh, it's just the way I saw it. Um, but now that you tell me that they're straight up commies, and then the colors, you're right, the colors were always there, red and yellow. I never fucking noticed that. The colors were always there, red and yellow. So, yeah, maybe there was. And you know what? For this show, they did primarily choose Chinese actors, I think. Uh, 
for the firebenders i don't know about dan uh what's his name dan uh i want to say dan lin i don't even remember the fire lord that guy i don't know if he's chinese but i know that uh zuko is for sure uh that kid is uh fucking chinese so i don't know i don't know man we just uh, we made it into a really racist, you know. But oh well, what are you gonna do? You know, I'll tell you one thing: there was very, very few blacks in the Avatar: the Last Airbender cartoon. Very few. I just put it like that. That was some bullshit. I don't think there was any Mexicans neither. I didn't see nobody climbing walls or crossing the borders and shit. The same. That's pretty racist of them to not include those demographics. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, cheers, cut. Cheers, motherfucker. Mm. Just hitting this J here for you. All right. Uh, no, ma'am. This fucking misogynist. Let me hit it for him. No, ma'am. National yeah. Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. No, ma'am. Also on the Avatar video, he says, I mean, I remember the Fire Nation having pale skin tones. I get why you might think they were Caucasian. Actually, now that I'm looking at some of the drawings online, maybe they are. I just feel they're... They drew them differently than they did the other characters. You know? Like, for sure. I mean, the waterbenders from the north and the fucking south were Eskimos. I mean, there's no denying that. Um, But I, don't, I just always... That's just me. My mind went there when I was, when I was younger. Uh, that's actually one hell of a question, he says, to ask the creators if you ever get a chance. I, I would, if I ever met them, I'd be like, All right, yeah, I would, that would be the first thing I would ask them. He says, me and my roommate binge, binge watch this today. I thought it was cool. It's obviously not the same, but it could have been much worse, like M. Night's version. Cheers, son. Hashtag. Live. Look. If you hate on this fucking show, all you guys, all, like, all I gotta tell you to do is go watch M. Night Shyamalan's fucking movie. It's not even that long. It's about as long as one episode of these fucking things. I think it's like an hour and ten minutes or something. It's fucking short. So go watch that fucking movie and see the mess he did because he crunched 20 episodes into an hour and ten minutes or whatever. Whereas they crossed 20 episodes into eight one-hour episodes. I mean, they did a good job. Fuck you. Oh, I'm still mad that people are hating on this. Um, no ma'am actually got a reply from some guy named WV5853. Weave or some shit. Anyways, this guy says, I, I guess not since the Earth Kingdom is based around Chinese cultures and the Fire Nation is based around Japanese. So the Asian thing makes sense to me. Could be either way, though. Uh, the, the, the Earth Kingdom does resemble more Chinese culture. You're right. The Japanese, man, I mean, you're right. They, they want to be attacking and invading. You're right. I think this guy has more of a point about, like, they're not, they're Japanese, not commies. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. They made him Chinese in this one. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know, man. I mean, this is what happens when you live in reality because in reality, in our reality, motherfuckers have made countries and everybody's like uh, Israeli or American or Mexican and shit and a half. And, uh, and in their world, they're just fire, earth and shit. So it's still racism, regardless of how we're painting it. It's still racism. That's all I'm going to say. So cheers, WV. Thank you for commenting and shit. Oh, DJ New Kid. I'm going to hit the fucking DJ horde for this guy, man. It's been a while since I've seen this guy. But he commented on the Thunderbolts name change. And he said, a hundred... Keeping it a hundred, he says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Just a little observation how stupid Marvel is and how easy they could make this. If the fucking guy, Thunderbolt Ross, dies in the movie you're going to make before this, 
then the easiest thing you could do is say, oh, we're naming the team after him because he thought of the project before he died as a memory. But no, they're naming the Thunderbolts because Yelena's favorite soccer team when she was a little girl is Thunderbolts, apparently. Go figure. Fuck you. Cheers, DJ New Kid. Thanks for that. Hey, you know what, Joku? I'm going to throw you a wrench. I just realized that. I, mean, I don't have any wrenches here tonight. Uh, there we go. There you go. I just threw you a freaking wrench, motherfucker. Cheers. Uh, it's a, uh, I think it, I think I did. Uh, it's not coming out, but oh well. Uh, cheers. Let's see who else is coming out. Let's see who else made a comment here. Oh my god, the fucking Oh, there you go. You got a wrench. Uh the trumpets will sound left a big comment this motherfucker. And thanks to AI, he's going to show up and actually read his comment out loud for us. This is going to be good. All right, I hope you guys are ready for this. Let's hear uh the trumpets will sound uh commenting on this broadcast. Hello, muchacho. I'm sorry I missed last week. I've been very busy. I traveled down south to Eagle Pass, Texas, or as the locals like to call it, Illegal Pass. What a great bunch of people. Son of man, I am proud you were born from among them. I made my way to America's phallus, the state of Florida, for a brief court appearance. I was greeted with roaring applause and cheers from supporters. God bless you all. Glad the Supreme Court denied Sleepy Joe and his cronies from keeping me off the ballots. Shout out to Gomer Kyle and his political ways and Houston, Texas. This very own Joe Cool. Cheers to all the woke pack and cheers to the son of man. Hashtag woke pack for life. Cheers, trumpets, and hashtag for life. That is creepy as fuck. That's all I'm gonna say, dude. Uh, I, the AI reads it really fast, uh, and it stumbles every once in a while, but. He kind of does the same thing. <laughs> Maybe he's a robot. <laughs> it sounds a lot like it. Maybe the real person is actually a robot too and shit. <laughs> oh man. He said he said he went down to Eagle Pass, or as the locals call it, Illegal Pass. This fucking guy. <laughs> he says, I'm proud you were born from among them. Hey motherfucker! I'm not, I'm, I'm a little bit northern from, I was born more north from Eagle Pass. Uh, or actually, yeah, 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 it's more north. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're a bigger city where I'm from. Uh, but it's still right there, man. It's not that far. Eagle Pass is just fucking a few, maybe a hundred miles south from where I live. Uh, but I'm, I, I grew up in a border city. I wasn't going to say a border town, but that place compared to Eagle Pass and Zapata and those other little places, those places are, are fucking towns, whereas I grew up in a city. It's no Houston or Austin, but it's a fucking city. Um, yeah, this, uh, thank you fucking, uh, trumpets, you crazy asshole. Uh, <laughs> that was crazy that they, they, you're on the ballot, motherfucker. You're right. You're on the ballot. Uh, cheers to you. Uh, and good luck this November. <laughs> just good luck muchacho it sounds funny when he says I'm, I'm gonna play that real quick because it sounds funny when it says, it says hello muchacho check it out hello muchacho I <laughs> hello muchacho <laughs> hello muchacho I <laughs> oh my god <coughs> man AI is scary y'all AI is fucking scary um, <clears throat> next on the, on the comments video, it's Eddie Molina Vilches. <laughs> he says, uh, I like the new look, son. It's the Shih Tzu, son. Oh, yeah. Cheers. <sighs> because I said that's, I hope we don't get sued because. Because of the fucking background. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, he also left another comment. And he said, 
What up, my brown ski skinwalker? Oh yeah, this guy's the one who came up with that brown ski. He called us. He called me and uh, he who should not be named. He called us fucking brown skis. And Gomer Kyle has just shown up. I'm gonna hit your intro, Gomer, while I make you give you a wrench. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pie. Private Pile, I'm gonna give you three seconds. To wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you! One, two, three! Shazam! Cheers, Gomer! Welcome to the Dud channel. Uh, this is where we'll be streaming live. I might just change the name and put the live <laughs> streaming <laughs> day. <laughs> Anyways, earlier, uh, Gomer, I talked about. Uh, why we got banned and all that maybe maybe on Sunday you can watch the beginning uh, or the comments video uh, Because I talk about maybe making a another channel another dud channel so we can try it again And watch Wrestlemania because man there was only two fucking Matches left. we got away with it the whole night and it wasn't until the end that I really started pushing the envelope because and I know people were people were complaining and they make it bigger and make it better and and I did it for them, man, because I, I, I want people to see what I, I mean, you know, I start feeling bad and I want, you know, me, I want people to fucking enjoy what I'm enjoying, you know, but obviously YouTube's not going to let that happen. So we might have to do it a little different next time. We'll see. We'll see. It's still, we're still weeks away from WrestleMania, uh, but I'll let you know that week, probably that Friday, because I think it's a two day thing, uh, but I'll start making a dud channel. So we can uh, do these live uh, pay-per-views, uh, watch parties with y'all. Because it was fun, man. There was like 40 people. Nobody was talking. It was just me, you, Gomer, and, and Super Saiyan Joker who were, who were, who were chatting. Uh, but there was, uh, you know, people were watching, man, and that's cool. I think I got a few subscribers from it. They're probably going to unsubscribe once they realize that this isn't a wrestling channel. <laughs> but oh well. Cheers, Gomer. Thank you for being here. Cheers, Goku. Thank you for being here. And cheers uh, to Doug Unfunny, because uh, I think he's there watching us in the background uh, or hearing us. So cheers to you, bros. Um, cheers to Vietjes. Thank you for commenting, you fucking guy. Brownski. Oh, a new guy on the Thunderbolts name change. Kenneth. Kenair. Ken. Kenair. I don't know. He says, Thunderbolt Ross is Marvel. Suicide Squad is DC. Do you not know this? Yeah, I know this. And he's fucking six, five-year-old knows this from watching cartoons on Disney and shit. And on WB. This is a three-minute video expert that I just cut and post during the week. I'm sorry that you don't watch our channel and you didn't watch. I'm trying not to shit on you because you're pissing me off. You know how you, these motherfuckers know how I get. I rape motherfuckers on this channel. All right. I do. All right. But I know you don't watch us. So you don't know that probably. You know, I don't remember because I was drinking and smoking weed. But probably I was saying some shit like uh, that. The Thunderbolts is Marvel's uh, equivalent to Suicide Squad because they need to copy each other to make sell comic books. And so Marvel says, let's just call it the Thunderbolts, where the government gets a bunch of bad guys in jail and sends them on a suicide mission. But it's not called Suicide Squad, it's called Thunderbolt. Because I'm drunk and high, I said, oh, Marvel's the Suicide Squad, or whatever the fuck. And that's the explanation, Kenneth. You fucking guy. But anyways, we still read your comment in this channel because we value everybody's opinion, even if it's an ignorant opinion because they don't watch us. Uh, but cheers to you, uh, fucking <laughs> Kenneth. Giving you the DJ horn. And I'm saying cheers to you. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for watching. All right, let's see who else. Oh, Gomer on the... Well, I just posted this today because I didn't realize <laughs> till this morning that I wasn't going to be able to stream from our chan from my channel. Uh, so, yeah. That's why I made this quick video explaining. 
and uh, luckily at least two of three of you uh uh found out because everyone everyone else is probably wouldn't everyone else nobody watches this <laughs> damn show <laughs> everyone else who the millions and millions of woke peckers out there are wondering why the fuck the live stream's not coming up and their notification bell didn't ring on their YouTube channel and shit. I'm sorry, y'all. We're at a dud channel doing the live stream, but tomorrow it will be uploaded on Saturdays. Edited pussy version for all you motherfuckers. How we usually do when we do what it is that we do. Thank you, Gomer. Gomer said, I went over there and I subbed. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, I don't know. I've... It's just a dud channel. That's a channel I created a long time ago and I told he who should not be named. That he should make these short videos and post them on this dud channel. So they could just randomly appear when people are searching for ass. And he said, that's a good idea. But he never did it. <laughs> so then I started doing it. Like I do everything else. So anyways, we are, I have a dud channel. This is where we're streaming from. Cheers, y'all. I love you. Oh shit, is this the last comment? Let me... Let me re re refresh this. Re 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 refresh. Yes, this is the last comment, and it's none other than Super Saiyan Joku. And in honor of Akira Toriyama, which we will talk about when we get to the comic book nerd shit. But in honor of Toriyama's son, we will play your intro again, Super Saiyan Joku. I want to have the world, the world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. <laughs> Uh, Super Saiyan Joku says on the fuck the Avatar haters. I mean, the music playing when Iroh's sons died brought a tear to my eye. That's the song that he played in that little. I think he had like a little thing and he was playing it and shit in the in the anime and he's crying when he played it in the in the cartoon and shit. And they played it in the background during that scene, uh, Super Saiyan Joku. And then he goes, uh, my cabbages guy was there. I went crazy seeing Jet and the crew, and I watched it eight more times, and I do see a good amount of comedy after all. It's Son of Man approved. Cheers, mother flowers. Hashtag. Live. Um, dude, I didn't even know this. But the fucking cabbage guy is the guy who actually did the voice for the cabbage guy. Like, it's the actual fucking voice actor. They got him to come play <laughs> the same character he voiced. Uh, that's fucking badass, man. I didn't had no idea. Jet, right away from the beginning, I recognized him. Uh, I remember when they were trying to sneak into Omashu and this guy was going to help them. And I said, is that Jet? And I'm like, but Jet's story's not like this. And I started thinking, they're, they're cramming stuff together. And I'm like, that's gotta be Jet. That's gotta be Jet. And it took a long time if, when they were finally inside of Mamashu. That's when he finally said, my name is Jet. But I was like, he wasn't saying his name. But when he said his name, I was like, I knew it. He looked like it. I'm like, he knew he looked like fucking Jet for sure. Uh, so that was badass. And they all looked alike. The, the Duke. The the little the the Duke and I forget what the other guy was called the Duke and and uh, the little guy or some shit like that. Uh, those guys look exactly the same and shit. Um, it's got it's got some funny parts and it's mostly like Soka Sokka is saying some of the funny parts and every once in a while some a character will say something but it's it's the right amount man because it's like it's it's war people are people are dying and they show from the very first fucking. Uh, scene when the Fire Nation attacks the Airbenders, they show them burning people, and you see burning corpses. So this is real, bro. And it's not gonna be silly. Ang's not gonna be playing around if if knowing that everyone's dying. Like it makes sense. There is sarcasm, little lines in there, you know, because you know that's real life. But it's not all the time, like in the anime, because Aang was just playing around all the fucking time in the anime. 
cartoon. I keep after saying anime, but cartoon. I want to upset the nerds. It's a, not an anime. Um, yeah, Peep Squeak and the Duke. <laughs> they looked exactly the same. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, man, I loved it. I loved the series. So f fuck the haters uh, for for hating on this. I thought I still think it's really good. I still think it's really good. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, cheers, y'all. Happy Friday. Mm. I do appreciate each and every one of you for commenting. Honestly, you make the show. It would be a really short show if I didn't read comments. So thank you for commenting. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.